All right, in example one, we are going to s learn how to create this equation using Microsoft Equation Editor. To get the Microsoft Equation Editor, we're going to go up to Insert, select Object, scroll down. Now, uh, most of them I have a lot of on my computer, and most uh, it's not too far down. Microsoft Equation 3.0. Okay, and we will get. Uh, a different type of toolbar here and all these commands up here are for equation editor we are somewhat outside of Windows but we're also built into Windows so we're going to first start off typing this equation like we would any other sentence and that's an F parentheses X and parentheses equal all right now we have a bracket and the bracket is only a left-handed bracket doesn't have a right side so we're going up to our bracket button and we have a drop down of all different types of uh, brackets and parentheses and here's a bracket with one on each side. Now this is not the one we want. We want to find one with just a bracket on the left which is here. So we choose the bracket on the left. We type in negative 0 0.75. Now for our time sign we're going to go up to our top uh, row and we will find a dot and we don't want the huge dot, so we take the smaller size dot. We type in X. Now we need a square. To get a square, we go to the bottom on the third one here, and uh, we have a superscript command right here. And you'll notice we are in a superscript. We put square. Now, if we take a closer look, our, our cursor is blinking just in the square. Now, to get out of the square, I'm going to press tab. Now, notice where the cursor is blinking. We have a line all the way underneath this equation so far, but we're still within inside that, that bracket, and that's important. If we get outside that bracket, which I'm going to do right now, uh, when I hit Enter, we're not going to be able to include the bracket, and the bracket will not grow like we see there. So it's going to be very important that we stay within our bracket while, while creating this equation. So I just clicked right next to the square again and make sure that you you're not in the square any longer and plus three back to our time sign x minus 2.25 now again my cursor is inside that bracket I'm going to hit enter and my bracket grew I'm going to type my zero now for us to get the space here uh, if we press the space bar now, nothing happens. So what we're going to want to do is make sure we hold the control button down and press space. And we can go over as far to the right as we wish. Now when we type in otherwise, notice that it is italicized. When we have italicized, it means that we're working with a function. And this is just an English word. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the word otherwise. Go up to style and take it from math to text and now it will look like regular text and we're finished okay to get out of equation editor just click outside of the box and there you have it now this is something that's happened new uh, that I haven't seen in the past that uh, we when I upgrade to XP I have a gray box surrounding it it prints white does everything white but for whatever reason while we're in equation editor we have a gray box and it's just I believe to note that it is it was done in equation editor so it's nothing to worry about alright that's it for this lesson